Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch the Quarry game on your Windows computer or if you are receiving fatal error or if you are facing crashing and freezing issue on your computer. So the first step is to restart your computer. So just restart your computer and after the system restart, try to launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, then bypass 2K launcher for this. Copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this. Make a right click on the game on Steam, then select properties. Under the general tab here, you can see launch option. Under launch option, paste the command. Now, if the game is installed in C drive, change the first letter that is E in my case. So change it to C. If the game is installed in D drive, type in D. In my case, it is in E drive. So just change the drive letter over here and keep the command as it is. And now launch the game. This will bypass the launcher and you should not face the problem. Now uh, the next step is to move or install the game to solid state drive. So if you have solid state drive, try to move the game to the solid state drive and then check. Now you can also uninstall and reinstall the game to SSD. For this, make a right click on the game, select properties, then go to local files and then click on move install folder. You can select the drive, select your SSD and then click on move. Once that is complete, launch the game. Or you can simply click on manage, then click on uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and after the system restart, reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have any SSD, try installing the game to SSD. Now the next step is to put DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties. This time in launch option, you can type in DX that is dash dx11 and then check if that does not resolve then you can type in dash dx12 and then check now the next step is to launch the game as an administrator for this go to the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage and click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the query exe file select properties now go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok and make a double click over here launch the game if that does not resolve then go to engine binaries third party i'm sorry uh, go to smg026 folder binaries and then win64 make a right click on the query win64 shipping exe file properties go to the compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok make a double click and then launch the game from here if the game is still not launching in that case you can uncheck this box as an administrator so if that does not resolve in that case you can uncheck this box and then first of all check it and then check if that does not work remove it and then launch the game from the game installation folder now, next step is to disable Steam overlay and close all the overlay applications. So, go to the Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So, if you have Discord running, close Discord. Now, if you have GeForce Experience running, close GeForce Experience. So, close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to verify the game file this is important now this has worked for many players so after the update if your game is crashing you can try this step so make a make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer close msi afterburner close it now, if you have Reaver Tuner running, close Reaver Tuner. So make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box, then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab, then click on put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here first, then click on disable all. In my case, this is grayed out. I already did it. In, in your case, this would be highlighted. So put a check over here first, then click on disable all, then click on apply. Okay. You will see the restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install the visual C++ file for this. Copy this link, 
The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. So you have to install x86. So click on this exe file and then click on x64 exe file and run both the exe file. Click on repair. You might see the repair option or you might see the install option. So if you click on it, if you see install, click on install. If you see the repair, click on repair. Click on yes to allow. Run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair, click on repair. If you see the install, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now make sure both the installation is complete and then restart your computer. So once this is done, you will see the restart option. And after that, restart your computer. And after the system restart, try launching the game. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I am showing for NVIDIA. On NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. So make sure that you select the right graphic card. So select your graphic card over here. In my case, I have selected my graphic card. You select your graphic card and then select the right operating system from here. In my case, it's Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11, then click on start search. Now, once you click on start search, scroll down. The top one is generally GeForce game ready driver. Right now, it is showing NVIDIA Studio driver. So I will download GeForce game ready driver. This is the latest one. So on the top, you might see GeForce game ready driver. So download the latest version. So click on get download. And then once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on OK. And let the process complete. Now click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Now after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you're using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings now if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security then click on windows security now if you have windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps, then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, it's in C drive, uh, E drive. In your case, it might be in C drive. So open C drive, then open program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here, you will find the game folder. In my case, it's in E drive. So open Steam folder, Steam apps, common, then open the query folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Now once the game is added over here, click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps once again. And this time open this SMG26 binaries win64, select this exe file then click on open. Now once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Now the next step is, to, is for laptop users with dual graphic card. Make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphic card. For this. Go to the start menu, click on settings, or you can simply in the search box type in graphics settings and then click on graphics settings. Now click on select desktop app from here and then click on browse. And then again go to the game installation folder, open Steam, Steam apps, common quarry folder, and then select the game exe file, click on add. And once the game is added, we click on options. Select high performance, then click on save. Again, click on browse. And this time open SMG 26 binaries, win64. Select this exe, then click on add. Now, once the game is added over here, click on options. Select high performance, then click on save. And now launch the game. 
next step is to update your windows make sure that your windows is up to date for this go to the settings and then go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update and once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to lower down graphic settings and turn off 30 frames limiter for this launch the game first now on this screen on the bottom right click on settings now go to graphics now from here you can select window mode so switch to window mode and then check the performance also over here you can see the option which says limit frame rate to 30 fps if this is on turn it off also lower down graphics settings so if everything is set to ultra you can select high or medium or you can even try low and then check now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so if you have multiple monitor connected disconnect multiple monitor and try to launch the game on single monitor unplug all the usb devices which you are not using so disconnect all the external devices now if you have these software running close this software and then launch the game if you have asus computer and if you have nahimic services running for this make a right click on the start menu then click on task manager now under the process tab over here if you see Nahimic services running, I don't have ACES computer, so I don't have that service running. So if you have Nahimic services running over here, select it, then click on end task. And also if you find lighting services over here, select lighting services, then click on end task. This is just an example. So if you have this software running, end it and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, then remove the undervolt and then try launching the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So uninstall the game and after the uninstall, delete the game folder, restart your computer and after the system restart, reinstall the game to different drives. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.